The following episode of the Top Gun Show is being provided for the sales partners of Nexus as yet another valuable tool to help your customers make informed decisions. Enjoy. Well, welcome to the Top Gun Show. Today, I'd like to welcome Megan Lukic, the VP of Enterprise Sales at 8x8, the sponsor of the Top Gun Show. After spending two years at MCI WorldCom, Megan went on to spend six years at AT&T as an enterprise sales manager. She spent almost 10 years at Shortel as a regional sales leader before joining 8x8 six years ago. She leads a world-class sales team who markets and sells to customers in the Eastern United States and Canada. Megan, welcome to the Top Gun Show. Thank you. I'm thrilled to be here. Good to see you. It's it's nice to have you on. I, uh, I, I, I couldn't wait to have you on the show. I've heard so many wonderful things about you. Well, in prior episodes, we've discussed an overview of 8x8, heard about the unique value proposition, and last week we dug into the contact center offering. Let's start with this. How can companies keep pace with the changing needs of their employees in this hybrid work era? Absolutely. Well, I think we can all agree that the hybrid work environment is here to stay. I, I find it hard to believe we will ever go back to um, how it used to be. And we've worked with a lot of companies over the last 18 months to enable a, a hybrid work environment. And what's interesting is that 8x8 itself was built from the ground up to do this. Um, and by that, I mean, we deliver all of our solutions from a single wholly owned platform. And what that gives customers is the exact right solutions for hybrid, right? We have this incredibly feature rich platform that has unified communications, contact center, analytics, reporting, uh, collaboration, video communications, et cetera, all on a single platform. So we go to a customer, we figure out what do you need, right? What do all of your employees need to be successful? And we enable those features for each employee. So nobody is left out. Everybody gets the right set of technology so they can perform their job to the best of their abilities. And then the next thing we do is we make this platform available from anywhere. You can get to us via any device, whether it's a cell phone, a desk phone, a soft phone, Teams is the application. You can get to us. We deliver a single experience across the environment. So Maybe you're in the office on Monday, you're working from your living room on Tuesday, and you're on the road Thursday and Friday. It's always the same experience. And so that drives adoption. So now we have employees that are efficient and they're productive all of the time, anywhere. Third thing we do is we make it really easy. It's easy to manage. Having a single platform, your IT team can quickly learn the solution, manage it, keep it running. And we don't add this huge management burden to the IT team. And so it's really like everybody wins. And then we wrap around all of this. It's great technology, single platform, easy to manage. We wrap a set of analytics and reports around it so that you have actionable insights about everything happening on the platform. So even though you might not be able to see your employees or walk down the hall and figure out what they're doing, you'll know about it because that's what analytics do. So that's what we've found to be really impactful for our customers who have moved into a, the hybrid world. That's great. That's a great answer. Well, you know, I I want to I want to get to this next question, but I want to tee it up properly. Um, when when I've been in agency management, I always I always steered a lot of our sales partners and customers to you early and often, yes. um, as opposed to just you know getting you involved down the road. Hey, give me a price. You know how, what's your price per seat? I know when we brought you in early and often in the past, and as we're doing now with AppSmart, you be, you become a really good partner with the sales agent. And, and throughout the discovery process, you don't just try to fit, you know, your, your solution down the throat of the customer. You really learn a lot about the customer. So my next question is, give an example of a customer that was brought to you by the indirect sales channel and what role you played in the discovery design quotation and throughout the sales process. Absolutely. And you're exactly right. And this story will demonstrate why early and often is important. So thinking about a, a large financial institution we worked with over the last year, we were brought in by a partner that had a long relationship with that, absolutely a trusted advisor, identified that this customer had a need, a bunch of needs, and brought us in very early into the conversations as the customer was trying to, to just imagine what they wanted to do next. And we met with them many times. I mean, I don't know, I would say maybe 40 times over a six month period. We met with lots of people in the organization, managers, contact center people, salespeople, and we got to know them and we understood what they, what they needed. We asked questions, we did technical evaluations, we observed them in their contact center to find what was working, what wasn't working. 
we came back with an efficiency report that that basically summarized everything we learned. And we said, here's what we learned about you. And by the way, here's some recommendations of how we think technology could make an impact on your organization. We married that with an ROI report that said, this is the financial impact of moving forward with a new solution. And all of that culminated in the right design with the right set of financials. And it made the rest of the process easy, right? Um, approval was easy because all the work had been done. Deployment was, was very smooth because we knew so much about the organization that there were no surprises as we went to get people on the platform and help them adapt the new solution. Um, and so that to me is a really good example of partnering early and working together often and getting all of the information so that we know that together we've built exactly the right solution that'll benefit the company. Yeah, I love that example because it really does show when you do come in early and often, um, you learn so much about the customer. It's not just about selling a solution to them, but it's really about helping them improve their business process and, and all that. And I can tell you through you know seven years of selling eight by eight or my sales partner selling it, you guys do it as well as anybody. So um, Good, great, example, great example. Great. Well, Megan, I know you're a big fan of the Top Gun show and that I know you know. There are millions and millions of people watching you right now. Why don't you tell the viewers a fun or little known fact about yourself? Yeah, absolutely. So I've been in the space for over 20 years. This is really all I've ever done professionally. And so some people wonder if I, you know, if I was just sort of born to be, uh, to be in communications. And um, what many people don't know is that my life could have taken a very different turn. I, and if I had stuck with any of my earliest jobs. So my very first job was in the mall working at Hot Dog on a Stick. And um, that was fun for a while, but I decided that probably wasn't my life work. So I moved on down the mall, moved up a little bit. I went to work at Nordstrom and I sold shoes, which was so fun and so great, but really just resulted in a very expensive habit. I think I have hundreds of pairs of shoes now. So I couldn't stick with that because I couldn't afford to do that forever. Uh, moved upstairs, played the piano at Nordstrom for a few years, which was great. And then um, just by happenstance, I had a... Uh, a good friend who introduced me to telecom as I was graduating from college. And um, I was so thrilled that I, that I joined the industry then and I've been thrilled with it forever, but uh, could have taken a different turn. Well, I'm, 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 it's taken me back because on behalf of all, you know, junior high kids in America, I had a crush on the hot dog uh, on a stick girl in the mall back when I was in junior high. So I, I get it. Those uniforms are hard to beat. They really yeah. are. Yeah. Yeah. The lemonade. I mean, that, that was, that was pretty amazing. Well, thanks for, thanks for sharing that or confessing that, or maybe I just confessed that, but uh, <laughs> you know, it, it's great to have you on the show today. Eight by eight is a, a wonderful partner of ours. And uh, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Thank you for having me. It was, it was great. Thank you. Thanks for watching everybody.